This video could be the most controversial video we've put out yet. So before you take that step of buying that brand new RV, you're gonna wanna watch this first. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. So we are actually bringing this video to you from the City Museum in St. Louis, Missouri. Part of the thing about living the RV life is being able to go different places and see different things. So if you're wondering what's going on, we're filming this at the City Museum in St. Louis, but we wanted to be able to share this very important information with you since so many of you and so many others are considering purchasing an RV right now before that the summer really gets going. Definitely not safe. When there's a Ferris wheel on the roof, then you know it's not safe. So what's the coolest thing to see here? What'd you say? Uh, go in the caves. The There's caves? a cave system okay. in there that's original to the building. It's an old shoe factory. Okay. I can't, uh, I can't explain see? it. Like, what, There's like, too much. Too much? Too much. A lot of, too much. Like, what would you say this is? Ha hazardous. Hazardous. I don't know. Is that fun? So how you buy an RV is super important to making sure that that RV dream does not turn into a nightmare. So we're gonna share with you five tips on how to buy an RV the right way. And tip number five is probably the most important. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you watch until the end to be able to see all five tips. So before we get into this video, I definitely have to give you the disclaimer that this reflects our personal values when it comes to personal finance. And that is a personal thing and a personal choice. So as we give you these tips, remember this is a reflection of what we feel like is wisdom and what we have learned over the years. It may not be something that you agree with. So let's agree to disagree if you choose to not agree. And as you leave your comments below, let's just keep the dialogue super respectful and realize that personal finance is just that, a personal decision. So as we move forward, let's keep that in mind. So tip number one is to buy used. The biggest reason that you want to buy used instead of new is taking that hit on the depreciation. So in that first three to five years, RVs can depreciate anywhere from 25 to 40% in value in just that very beginning time frame. Now, let's talk just a little bit about the math here because if you take the average price of a new Fleetwood Discovery, which it can kind of range depending upon trim level, but the average price is right around $270,000. Now, let's assume that it only depreciates just that 25%, right? We're gonna be super conservative and say super low depreciation rate on that brand new RV since everybody wants an RV right now. That is still a loss in that first five years of over $67,000. That's over $1,000 a month in just depreciation. Not even the payment cost on that brand new RV if it's financed. That is a ton of money a month that is essentially being flushed down the toilet in depreciation with buying new versus buying used. Now, both of the RVs that we have owned are 100% used, and we actually bought both of our RVs right around that 10 to 15 year age range where the percentage of depreciation had pretty much leveled out by the time we bought it, so we didn't take that big hit in depreciation. Tip number two is to pay cash for that RV. Now, you probably have seen some things in the news about a particular RV dealership and people's contracts on their financing that the numbers basically just didn't add up, leaving them with a very large balloon payment that they were not expecting. If you pay cash for an RV, you won't ever have to worry about that. 
let alone the fact that you've tied up so much of your financial resources in monthly payments. We are huge fans and believers of Dave Ramsey's baby steps. And one of those, of course, is to eliminate all consumer debt except for a mortgage on a house as quickly as possible. So we personally do not think that it is wisdom to go into debt for any type of purchase for anything that has an engine or wheels because it's something that depreciates. You're not gaining value in that particular thing. So definitely plan on paying cash up front don't go into debt for an RV and you're going to set yourself up in a better position financially by doing so. So tip number three, don't be afraid to purchase something that maybe needs some renovation. This is actually a great way to buy an RV and really make it your own and make use of that space in a way that's going to serve you and your family best. We'll put a link above to the recent renovation that we did on our motorhome. But what we found was that by doing some renovation, we actually converted a space into a bunkhouse of sorts for our kids that wasn't that way from the factory, but renovating allowed us to really customize it and make it our own. Plus our initial cost up front was very, very minimal. So the last thing I wanna say about renovation is that with our RV, what we paid for it and what we put into it with renovation and a few repairs that we've done over the few years that we've owned it, we are still in it for less than a quarter of the cost of buying new. Tip number four, start small and keep things affordable. Even if that means maybe starting with just a pop-up or a large tent, a travel trailer, just whatever that means for you and your family and your budget. You can always start small and work up later. One thing that we have found over and over in living the RV life and talking to other RVers that usually your first RV is just that your first RV and then you get into RV life and you learn what's working and what's not and then you tend to either upgrade or move to something that's going to fit your needs better. So don't be afraid to start small, get out there, kind of figure out what this is all about and then later on upgrade as you have the resources to do so. So tip number five, and this is probably the most important tip to keep your RV dream from turning into an RV nightmare, and that is hire a professional inspector. We cannot stress this enough. When we bought our second RV, there was actually water damage that we missed seeing just because we didn't know quite all the things to look for, even though we felt like we were pretty equipped to kind of know some of the telltale signs. So having an RV professionally inspected by a professional certified inspector can help make sure that whatever that you're purchasing doesn't have any problems that just could turn into that nightmare. So have a professional inspector. We'll put a link below for some resources on how to find an inspector in your local area so that you can have that RV inspected before that you follow through on the purchase. Now, we know this video is definitely maybe not the norm or some kind of unconventional ideas that not everybody's going to agree with. So let us know in the comments below, what are your thoughts on purchasing an RV for cash and not going into debt? We would love to hear your thoughts below in the comments. And remember, let's keep the dialogue respectful. We hope that you enjoyed this video today brought to you from City Museum in St. Louis. Part of the reason we choose to live the RV life is for wonderful experiences such as this today. So hopefully you put this on your list of places to go as you travel around the US. He's stuck. I honestly don't know what to tell you. Like, I don't even know where you are. I guess his sister's gonna help him, hopefully. You know, it's a good time for them to figure out how to work together.
want to say a huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. Why? We want to say a huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. We are really appreciating your support. We'll have a link for that down below as well. If you would like to see more videos with RV tips and tricks, you can check those out right over here. And if you'd like to see more fun places to travel and places you know you're going to want to put on that travel bucket list, check those out right here. Until next time, we will see you on the road.